Hey guys, my name is Arman and today I'm going to show you how I process uh, my fish. It's, uh, it's a bluefin tuna that uh, I shot yesterday and uh, it's been sitting in ice for the whole night. So uh, here, bring it. This is, this is the beast. And we're going to cut it uh, in quarters, like top loin, bottom loin and uh, process it, make fillets out of it. We're gonna take it to the table. Let me dry it a little. Okay, so mainly what I noticed, uh, the knives that we need are, excuse me, so, so the knife I'm, knives I'm using are chef's knife, uh, fillet knife, uh, boning knife, which I use on fish and uh, deer, and uh, cleaver. This is to uh, work close to the head. So, let's get going. So mainly, what people do is, in order to get this part out, we're gonna go with a big knife, take the scale, even though this doesn't really need that, but we can make an opening here for the knife to work and then with this guy here follow we're just gonna follow the bone not cut the bone and then same thing we're gonna go back up and all the way to the head you guys meet here not really here but Just use this guy here and extract this. This is one side, and we can do the other side as well. Okay. So for this side, it's going to be the same process. Link here. And I would like to say that this is the way I'm doing it. I'm not an expert at it, but it kind of works. Okay. So for now we can do the head. And uh, what I do, I would like to take this piece out. This is the belly part. So I'll just go ahead and cut from here and I can make another cut but here and this is the fatty tuna the belly part which I love and my wife and kids as well even though I only have one kid and we have a bladder here that we can leave or remove but we don't need to um, so, I'd like to start with this side. So, we're gonna dry clean a bit. What I can do is put these pieces on a, somewhere so they don't eat. This is very good actually, uh, I'll, I just smoke this uh, after cleaning all this, uh, the bloody part. You can just smoke it whole, it's uh, delicious. 
and of course this is the best sashimi for for me i know in japan they like more of the red meat the top part is still So now we need a trash can. Trash bag. This is not a huge fish. So I don't, it's not gonna give us too much problem. But in the big ones, usually you, oh. you wanna, uh, on the big ones, usually you wanna cut the skin and uh, uh, make space for the for the chef's knives to go all the way because of the thickness of the area so this is what i'm gonna do if you want you can film from this angle i like to start somewhere in the middle and go up go up all the way to the head okay and from here, same. Then from around here, you can even go to the other side. Okay, and cut. The tail, we can even take it out, like just one cut like this, and like this. If you're on uh, on the ring of the those bones, it should be pretty easy to cut. If you're not, you can just smash it away. And let's see what. I'm guessing I was not. Let's say I'm not a pro. Okay. That's our tail. Now, with a bigger knife, we can go a bit deeper. Just follow, point slightly down so it doesn't start to go up. I think the head stops right here. And then we can just you can feel the things. That's it. That's what you want to hear. Okay. And do the same thing on the other side. We can actually, we should cut this in two from the, the bloodline that runs here. We're gonna divide this to the, actually I think with this knife is better so we don't push any scales inside. Okay. And this is what I'm talking about.
something easy way here is with this guy here. the top loin that will uh, have to clean that bloodline and uh, process it. I'm gonna put it here for now. Put the skin on so it doesn't get dirty. And we wanna clean our knife again. The same process is gonna be here. Okay. Ribs. Don't want to waste too much of the meat. That's the stomach part. We want to stay. We are ready to eat that meat. We have some bones here. Okay, this is the, the bottom part, which has some more rib bones here, which we'll uh, have to take it out. Now, it's not too bad. The so all this uh, the meat here without uh, blood, of course. You can scrape it with a spoon. Okay, so now that we have the top part done, we don't have, we don't really have to flip the fish. We can just uh, go from uh, from here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, do the same process, but from the top. So what you do is you come right here. And aim, this time we're gonna aim out. First, we're gonna do the cut through the skin all the way. Not too much. Oh, okay. Okay. And now, we can take this knife and just go right under the ribs. If you look at here, you can see the knife going. Like this, just follow the ribs. This is why you want a big knife so you can get more depth. Okay, and we're going to do the same on this side. Now that we want to get under the the bones here, which will be something like this. Okay. Now we can just cut away, but because it's the same thing that we did the with the top part, but here we have better grip here. What I do is lift cut those connective tissue and bone and make sure that 
Your fish doesn't fall. Okay. Separate the head from the fish, which is somewhere here. What I can do is just hold it like this. Oh, I got this guy off, which we can put it here, and I'll show you how to scrape it. Now we're gonna just like you can just see how easily the head separates if you help yourself with the knife. So this is the head, this is the tail, and this is my doggy that he shouldn't be this close <laughs> to the food. Get back, come, go back. Okay. So now. So we're left with the top loin and the bottom loin. I think this is called Otoro, but I'm not, I don't remember my, the names, so I'm not gonna try to go there. So again, we're gonna clean knife. And here, I don't think we'll need this guy anymore. We're just gonna do separate. table a bit and start to work on each individual uh, piece so we'll uh, take the bloodline out the ribs out and after that we, we will uh, uh, cut it into pieces that you can serve like I would say like two pound uh, pieces should be good enough for like three people to have uh, some sashimi or steaks whatever they, they like okay so we're back uh on the table with our top loin so what i'd like to do i'm just gonna take my chef's knife and you can see the the ribs here when we they come all the way here so one thing i don't do is uh sashimi for the for the tail that tail part will take it away and we can use it for, to smoke I think smoking will be nice and uh, we're just gonna take all this unwanted stuff here which will be for the doggies see here I know the lighting is terrible but if you check here you have two colors like the dark one has more blood and it has a kind of a, a strong taste so some I, I've seen in some sushi bar that they did serve me with uh, the two colors but I really don't like this part so I usually trim that too for that we can use like a, a thinner knife so we can control it better see tell this is where the blood flows so okay we got a little bit of waste with some good meat but 
that's why I do not work in a restaurant. Okay, a little bit here. And you can always, once you take the, we have a piece of rib here, and then we have this guy here too. Okay. So now, one thing we can take is the tail, which we just, I would say, but here, you go down to the skin, turn, and take it. Yeah. So this piece, you can take this too. Maybe I'm doing it too much, but because once you smoke, we can take this out later on too. So I'm gonna put it in a tray with a paper towel. So let uh, any liquid come out so it doesn't sit in its own liquid. And uh, now we have our top loin that we can basically clean a little bit here and there. Like pieces like that, you can take it out. And uh, what I do is like take a measurement about this size and go one, two, three, or maybe we can do two pieces here. So this is what's gonna happen. It's gonna be one, uh, two, and three and four. This will be a big piece, but we don't mind. And uh, this, we're gonna keep it in a separate plate that plate okay. so all the trimmings will save it for the doggies but maybe I'll take some of the bones out so for this part it's pretty easy it's just like letting the fish it's but we don't want to get too close to the skin either so we keep the skin tight and just work with the knife and we have our first piece here so in the to cut this you can all just go like that or you can cut one like this and this piece will be cut like that and split this in half and then you have sushi pieces like that and this one it's same because you have some fibers some connective tissues you can scrape it with a spoon and use it as uh, for like a tuna hand roll or poke if you like uh, put spicy tuna in your poke so this is one piece Actually, I think this knife, no, fillet knife is the best. So, let's keep tight. That's two. Beautiful piece. And the last one. Okay. Okay. So same here. This we might have to work on it. So this is the the part that goes like that, that's the connective tissue. That's why you always want to separate this from this main part and then separate this from here. So this will be three, one, two, three, and then four that you want to scrape. Okay, so we have the skin here, which we don't use. 
uh, what we do now, we're just gonna uh, take one of the belly parts, the bottom loin, and I'll show you how I do this one, how I clean it, and then the rest is the same. The other piece is gonna be the same thing. So this, we might wanna just dry it a little bit, kind of felt wet. Okay, then you have the stomach here. Don't want anything to touch the meat. Okay. You know, but what we're gonna I'll start with here, which is I want to remove the these guys. So I'll go with the rib individually like that. It's not that. See, this guy goes all the way here. Okay. okay. So now we have this cavity that the, we, we have ribs on both sides. And I think this is where I shot it. So this we're gonna have to cut around it because it might be a bit bloody. So gonna take this tissue out. Okay. cut away the bloodline again likes the bloody sushi. Same here, we're gonna take the tail piece out. Put it together. Now, we can always, I'm gonna take one piece, two, because it's getting thicker here. Just keep the skin tight, just like you fillet your regular fish. You can work on this later to take it out, or you can just play like this. 
to you don't serve chewy sashimi. see the shot that went through so what I like to do is take the meat out of here so it doesn't have any okay yeah it's that's why headshots are good but the tuna is so fast that when you aim to the head usually you hit the, the middle of the body or even worse sometimes you hit the tail Sure. See, this is why I don't like to cut too close to the skin, so you have some weird things going on here. I will cut away and same goes for that's funny that this guy, yeah. I think the, the shaft went a bit diagonal on this one, so it kind of me messed up a lot of the meat. Lucky doggies. And this. This is a perfect fatty meat. And this guy here needs some trimming. Now with this, this goes to the mixture head cannon. This goes to the doggies, this goes to the trash. And uh, basically this uh, is the same process. I'll, I'll, I'll show you on, uh, maybe on like uh, more quickly. So lastly, like I promised, we're gonna do the, uh, the spooning of the fish, which is, we're gonna take a, I don't know the camera is not following me but and all we need to do just scrape the meat that's that easy but what, what you want to pay attention to it's not get the bloody stuff out of there you know so basically you just go like this between the ribs Bella, I'm watching you easy stuff see that I'm not taking and here eh, only on the other. and repeat the process for the other side and that's about it and you have a beautiful meat here and here is the the catch 
So we have bottom loin, top loin, a doggy that is too close to my food, and doggy food. And they know it. Get back. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you on the next one.